From 1972 to 77, TVs across the U.S. blared the sirens and action-packed adventures of Emergency, a drama series that brought the thrilling world of first responders to living rooms nationwide. Today, we invite you on a journey beyond the flashing lights and sirens to delve into little-known blunders, bloopers, and behind-the-scenes mistakes that happened during production of Emergency. The Shape-Shifting Ambulance did you ever notice a peculiar inconsistency that pops up in several episodes involving the ambulance? It almost always arrives at the scene as a Ford, but by the time it pulls up to Rampart, it mysteriously transforms into a Chevy. Talk about automotive identity crisis. While this might have escaped the notice of most viewers at first glance, once seen, it becomes a recurring, amusing inconsistency that's hard to ignore. Time Traveling Squad 51 Emergency had its fair share of continuity errors that keen-eyed fans may have caught. Arguably the most glaring one involves the star vehicle itself, Squad 51. Despite being consistently portrayed as a Dodge pickup, the model years used on the show varied, causing occasional temporal confusion. Much of the street scene footage showcasing the squad traveling was shot in Season 1 with an older model. This meant the squad that appeared on the road in later episodes didn't always match the one seen leaving the station or arriving at the scene. Furthermore, the use of the same response footage across multiple episodes resulted in an uncanny sense of deja vu for many viewers. John's first role Emergency played a pivotal role in the career of a future superstar. In 1972, a young John Travolta was carving out a path for his acting career in L.A., when he landed his first credited TV role in the second episode of the second season of Emergency, titled Kids. Travolta, later known for his iconic role in Welcome Back, Cotter, played a 16-year-old hiker who tumbles off a cliff. The episode also marked the introduction of Boot the Dog, the phantom rearview mirror. Within the confines of Squad 51's cab, a phantom rearview mirror often made its presence known. Despite the fact that Squad 51 didn't actually have a rearview mirror, camera angles from inside the cab often prominently displayed one in the upper left corner of the screen. Color Changing Pants The ever-ready ambulance attendants had a unique blooper of their own. Frequently responding to accidents or fires dressed in black pants, they would then arrive at Rampart in crisp white trousers. Quite the quick change artist, wouldn't you agree? Crew and equipment sightings. Considering the active LA County Fire Department Station 127 served as the exterior shot of the series' station, there were inevitable sightings of crew and equipment. With truck 127 parked to the side of the station during filming, sharp eyed fans might spot parts of the actual truck to the right of the building in several later clips. Rescues from real life. Emergency owes a great deal of its captivating realism to an interesting source, actual logbooks from fire stations. According to Randolph Mantooth, one of the stars of the show, series co-creator and producer Robert Sinator had a specific mandate for the writing staff. Every rescue portrayed in the show had to be plucked straight from a real fire station's logbook. The origin of these records wasn't limited to the L.A. County Fire Department or even California. Senator insisted they could come from any logbook across the nation. This approach met initial resistance from the writers, but upon delving into the exciting and often unbelievable incidents in the logbooks, they couldn't deny the wealth of true-to-life drama they provided. Mystery of the Car Wreck In the Season 5 episode, One of Those Days, a fascinating and slightly befuddling scene unfolds. Station 51 is called to the scene of a car wreck at a dead-end street where two cars are curiously stacked atop each other, with a trail of blood leading towards a dead end, but no sign of the drivers or injured people. In a rather uncharacteristic manner, Johnny and Roy merely shrug and walk away, leaving the mysterious scene unresolved. This unsettling scene raises several questions, such as what happened to the drivers and why our protagonists didn't delve deeper. Remember, though, firefighters and paramedics aren't detectives. Their primary duty is immediate response and rescue, not crime solving. The Disappearance of Boot As the series transitioned into its sixth season, fans noticed a new canine face around the station. Henry, the Basset Hound, was now the station's dog. But what happened to Boot, the original station dog? The mystery is left unresolved, with no mention of Boot's fate. 
However, astute fans may remember an incident where Boot hitched a ride on an engine crane that Johnny and Roy had called to help rescue John Travolta from a canyon. As the engine folded up and departed, Boot hopped on and went along for the ride, leaving our heroes calling after him. Could this be the explanation for his sudden absence? Television Pioneer Emergency can lay claim to having made a tangible impact on real-world lives. According to the book Emergency Behind the Scenes, when the series first aired in 1972, there were merely 12 paramedic units across all of North America. By 1977, influenced in no small part by the gripping drama of the series, more than half of all Americans found themselves within 10 minutes of an ambulance unit or paramedic rescue. This places emergency in a unique position as a television series that potentially saved countless lives off-screen. A Risky Ride The ending of the episode Insomnia presents another puzzling scenario. Half-asleep Johnny ends up clinging to the back of the engine as it pulls away. While Roy, realizing it's not a squad call, watches the engine leave, turns off the light, and apparently returns to bed. Now, why didn't Roy call dispatch to relay a message to the engine? After all, Johnny could have fallen off during a sharp turn and gotten severely injured. Besides, he would need to take the squad out of service until Johnny returned. The scene, while entertaining, seems to leave common sense and protocol in the dust. Authentic Badges Attention to detail was paramount in creating the show's immersive realism. One such detail was the authentic fire department badges used by the crew on the show. These weren't mere props, but real badges collected each night after filming and safely stored until they were reissued the next day. Emergency the Cartoon Somewhat unexpectedly, Emergency was adapted into an animated series for Saturday morning cartoons, dubbed Emergency Plus Four. This version understandably took some liberties with the show's characteristic realism. For instance, Roy DeSoto is shown sliding down a fireman's pole in a one-story firehouse in the opening sequence. The plus four represented an ambulance driven by a group of kids and their pets who assisted DeSoto and Gage. The original actors Kevin Teig and Randolph Mantooth lent their voices to their animated characters, providing a touch of familiarity amidst the whimsy. Emergency Meets Chips The motorcycle patrol show Chips had a couple of subtle crossover moments with Emergency. In Chips' first season episode Cry Wolf, Squad 51 can be seen responding, and in the second season's Mate Team, Engine 51 and Squad 51 arrive at the scene of a dreadful pileup. Squad 51 made another cameo in the third season with Hot Wheels. Now it's time to hear from you. What was your favorite memory of the show Emergency? Let us know in the comments section below.